there we are. People got to see me uh, with my Kleenex. So can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? We're now streaming live on Facebook. Oh my God. And this will all be on YouTube. So hello, YouTube people. I, I see you out there. I got some of my besties here. This is going to be a blast. Okay, so let's see. Why is it not just getting organized here? Doesn't seem to be playing. Can you guys see it on uh, Facebook? Oh, I guess I got to hit that oh, little button. Facebook is that? Whoa! I got to start. It. Okay, I need to mute it so I can see the chat. There I am. Oh, there I am with my. Kids. David was just saying that <laughs> I couldn't find it. How come Adrian's is, how come there's, I don't want What's that? captions. I want those off. Oh. Okay. Captions are off. We can't gossip anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Here, let me mute Mick West. He keeps talking. <laughs> he keeps trying to tell me something. Let me mute him. Okay. All right, so did you share it onto your Facebook feed so that other people can see this? Because I know there's so many people out there who want to see us do this. <laughs> this is going to be really different. Okay, you guys ready to start? Uh, uh, there you go. There is my FC girl. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us and being joined by us. This is going to be different. Now, Janice has done about 10 hours with me on this with uh two different two different videos facebook live that ended up getting onto um youtube and adrian's only got like four hours <laughs> which was a long time and plus one other video there's two videos oh and plus all the research that's going on uh beforehand and so on so i thought we'd do something fun well i don't know if it's fun i have no idea what to expect because this is going to be different now i'm going to read you guys something let me pull it up here real quick so I was contacted by a woman, um, I can say her name, her name is Cheryl, and a few days ago, and she's the one who gave me that grief uh, website, Facebook page, that's just pure Ugh. grief. Oh my God. Uh, my heart was breaking when <laughs> I, I was know. listening to that. So if you guys go to my YouTube channel, there's a YouTube video up there called Grief. It's a blue, just just says grief, and it's blue uh, thumbnail, and it is, an, it was I'm not telling, I'm not kidding. I did the PB and J, the peanut butter and jelly one. And Mark says, I can't, you are just so sad in that video. You shouldn't be doing any more videos for a while. And so when I got the grief vampire, the grief one, Mark says, Susan, mm -mm, don't do this video. You need to go to the garden or something because you're just depressed. This is depressing you. And I said, well, oh my gosh, look at what these people are like. They're like, I mean, they're near, oh, they're going to harm themselves, some of these people. Yeah, so it's such desperate. raw emotion. And, and to be sharing something like that on social media with strangers, even if it's a safe, quote unquote, safe group, which it isn't, um, it was just hard to look. You were reading some of the, you know, I listened to the whole thing. And it's like, don't listen to that one unless you're in a really strong frame of mind. Yeah, that's a hard one. So don't watch it. Oh, those people, you just, your heart just bleeds for them. And there's some weird stuff in there. So, anyway, I'm joined today by Adrian Hill, all the way from Canada, which is Snookum Studios. Snookum Studios. Yeah. Snookum. She's, Snookum. Yeah. And then Janice Boynton, all the way from Maine, which is another place that doesn't really exist. Both places I haven't been to. I will come and see this eventually, if, if, otherwise. So what we're going to do today, who, they've helped me out in the past, and they make this so enjoyable as much as, because watching these videos and listening and thinking about this stuff is really hard <laughs> on me. And um, the comments that I get in Facebook will help a lot. And it just makes it enjoyable. All right. So we're going to look at it. I haven't even told you who the medium is. You don't know anything. Okay. So I received this message from this woman named Cheryl. And she says, um, she's, she's 
I won't go into too much detail on it, but here's this thing. She said that this woman that I'm going to show you this video right now is kind of got her. She said that she found this video for this psychic. And I'm going to put the name in my in, in the chat because I don't know how to pronounce it. Fleur. Her name is Fleur. Hold on. And this last name. One of you guys can try to say it. Maybe, maybe the Canadian will be able to say it. All right. Yeah, Fleur. Fleur. What's her last name? Ooh, Lucink? It's a guess. That's that's probably better than I would have done. So she says she she says she asked me if I'd ever heard of this psychic. And I'm like, no, I never heard of the psychic. She says, I discovered her when I came across her obviously set up video on YouTube where she did a reading for a lady who had lost her daughter, Nicole. I fell for it big time and immediately went and booked a, a express reading with Fleur. An express reading is like eight hundred dollars. Wow! Because yeah. <laughs> she's got like a five-year waiting list, she says. So you can only get in with with a, an express, which is like a month wait. So she says, um, "What a marketing tool!" I know, and you know they say that people will say the psychics will say, "I've got a year waiting list." Well, nobody's gonna say. Yeah, I can get you in later today. I'm so nobody cares about me. So how about how about now? How about I pay you to be able to give a reading? So these, so it is a marketing ploy. And I think what happens is they'll say I've got a year or two year waiting list or whatever, and then they'll say, you know what? We had a cancellation. I know you're on the list. Would you like to be moved up? Or and they'll say, would you like to be moved up? We could do it for an extra fifty bucks or whatever. You know, uh... I think that's what's going on, honestly. And I'm in the wrong you. business. I know we have <laughs> ethics and all that. So, that's mm -hmm. so anyway, Cheryl says it was, I booked an express reading. It was clear. She was lying after 20 minutes of guessing. She stopped the reading and asked to reschedule because she wasn't getting things as clearly as she would have liked. I want you to know that Cheryl, her Facebook page has got nothing on it. So, and her name is so generic that there's no way that they could hot read her. So Cheryl says, <laughs> I explained by that point, I'd correct her, corrected her on so much about my life story anyway, that it would be worthless to do, a, 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 to have the reading rescheduled. So she well, thanked Cheryl. me. She says, I, I, I wanted to be refunded. And um, so then she posted on her, on her YouTube channel. What did she get her money back? Let me see. It wasn't clear. Knew my life story anyway. And thankfully she refunded me. Okay. So she got refunded. It was more, it was about more than the money though. And a few days later, I thought about it and I went and I, and I messaged her because I was so upset with the whole experience. She felt that the whole thing was a setup and that's what I'm going to show you. And I, like I said, I haven't watched it. And um, here's her, her message to Fleur. She says, thank you for the refund. I need to say, though, because I was absolutely distraught after my reading, I saw a YouTube video of a reading by Fleur, which is what I'm going to show you. And um, she says that it just felt so real that that's why she booked it, because it just seems so, so real. And what else does Cheryl say? I'm trying to just paraphrase it. I was absolutely heartbroken to realize that it's literally just a guessing game where you say yes to something it gets elaborated on. Literally, any belief or hopes I had in the afterlife was real was dashed after my experience with this woman, Fleur. Abs after my reading, I'm absolutely convinced that the video of Fleur on YouTube was set up in advance. So I love having you guys to be here with me because this is not your area, not, though you're getting much more experienced at it as you go through these things. So you're going to see things on here that I don't see. And I'm going to see things that you probably don't see. And I, I'm curious what we're going to see. So we're going to watch this video. I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're going to pause. We'll, we'll re, what we'll do is I'll just pause every so often and we can talk. It's only 10 minutes, so it can't be that long. So this is a video, and I will put it in the link. From the mediumship and psychic work. Okay, I'm going to put the link in here for people to see if they want on their own, because there's people who wanted to be here today but aren't going to be able to be here. 
So I'm going to just put it in here just in case they're curious. And, but don't look at it right now, people. Don't look at it right now. Wait, wait, we're going to evaluate it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's from the Netherlands. She's beautiful. And um, she's beautiful. Thank you for playing that, Adrian, or whoever it was who just played that. <laughs> You're talking about me. I just knew. Or my lovely, <laughs> my lovely um, sunflower from the garden. I said, I told Mark, I said, he, he brought it into the kitchen. He goes, I guess it saw its last days. I'm going to put it in the compost. I said, no, it's beautiful. Why would you throw it away just because it's got a couple missing petals and I need something for my video, some color. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, well, thanks for flower shaming me. Flower shaming. <laughs> so that's from our garden. That's from our garden. It can last at least today. I think it's pretty. It is. Yeah, I think it looks nice. Very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to take this video. I'm going to put it over onto. Oh, actually, I downloaded it. Let me pull it up. I don't want to show my screen. So the I don't want to show my real screen, my real desktop. So I'm going to pull this guy up. There she is. There she is. Oops. And then I'm going to, we'll just stop as we go, as we feel like we need to. I put it in a folder instead of putting it where I should have. Let's see if I can get it back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I'm usually much more organized. From that medium check and psychic. We were talking while you were usually getting organized. <laughs> we threw We threw you off me off okay yeah yeah all right so we had stories to tell i have lots of stories <laughs> some of them are even true so well, <laughs> all right so you guys taking notes so i'll try to do this like where it feels like there's a reasonable place where we should actually stop and talk about it the question is is this hot reading where she knows something about the psych the person beforehand which is uh cheryl's claim is that this is set up or is this cold reading or some combination or something else? I, I have no idea. I just heard what Cheryl said and that's all I know. So you, uh, you haven't watched this video yet either? Uh -uh. I, I've done a little dive into who the woman is, the right. videos, but just like not much. I, I'm just really curious about the, 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 um, the clip. So yeah, I have not listened to this either. I'm listening to it the first time. It could be an absolute failure. <laughs> It could be really interesting. Here we go. The problem about mediumship and psychic work is that I can't ask you any questions while I sit here because I don't want to know anything about you. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's good. Like, don't tell me anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. The camera's all ready? All right. Okay, then we can forget about it. All right, so um, <clears throat> we've never had a reading before, so I'm going to explain a little bit about how it works. I am both a psychic and I'm a medium. All I need from you is, yes, it makes sense or no, it doesn't. So simply a yes or a no. And uh, the no's are just as important as the yeses, so it's not going to hurt my feelings in the slightest. I just go back to them and I say, show me one more time, give it to me again. Because I really am a channel, I'm a translator. So let's see. Okay, all right. So immediately when I connect with your energy, I feel um, two individuals stepping forth. One feels to be father connected to you. You understand that he's passed over. Um, and I also feel here what feels to be a daughter connected to you as well. You understand that? And I know that they step in together, that she holds his hand. And I know that as she comes in, she's still a young soul when she passes. That's my feeling. I know she's still quite young. I know that I'm feeling like I'm just reaching my teens. It's, it sounds to me like Nicole or Nick coming Nick, forward. Nick is her name. Nick is her name. Okay, Nicole. perfect. I know that she is just bouncing like up and just down to talk to you. That's my feeling. It's just bouncing up and down. And she's actually a very lively, happy girl in the world. I know she's not sick for a long time. I do see her going into hospital. I do see her going to get checked up. That's my feeling. But she keeps showing me 
question mark, showing me confusion, showing me that at first we don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. You understand this? And I know that she brings me now to, um, like I'm just okay, reaching. I know that she brings me now to her brain area um, and to her head, and I know it's the lining of the brain rather than the brain itself. You understand that? Mm -hmm. And it feels to be the lining, and I see swelling now, where it feels to be that there's pressure of the brain that's built up, pressure around the brain, that causes me to go very quickly from this world to the next. Because it feels to me as she goes into hospital that even the doctors are perplexed. That's my feeling, and I that's see them right. scratching their head, and it's like, we don't know. Mm -hmm. That's my feeling. I know that you're beside her at this moment. I know that you're with her. And I know that she wants you to know that she knows that you didn't leave her for a single moment. That's my feeling. And I know that you also Thank you. She keeps repeating, I love you, I love you, I love you. And it feels to me that you would have repeated this to her as she passes from this world to the next. Do you understand? And I keep hearing this repeated to her, and I know she repeats it right back. Um, now, I also feel uh, 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 her father to have been present in the room as well. Um, Let's pause real quick, just because that just, wow. Ooh, baby. Are you still there? Oh, my gosh. Okay. I didn't realize... I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't realize it was a person in the room with her. That it was alive. I, we've been on Zoom for so long that 2014, though, so makes sense that it would be live and not a Zoom thing. Okay, so who wants to start with your first impressions of what the hell's going on in this? Oh, David Cluck says hot reading <laughs> with a big exclamation point. I started off thinking that, okay, this is cold read. We've got an older lady. Of course, most likely her father is dad. Mm -hmm. So that was my first instinct, but very quickly went into capital H hot read. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I also was kind of paying attention to the possible editing that could have happened. That's true. This is... They, there, there was a lot of cutting away, cutting away so I mean it may appear like hot reading but how many other things did she ask this woman that were misses that she's cut out we don't know that Janice mm. well she got N Nicole right away like names right away it wasn't I like thought. the end game or whatever it was, it was sort of like yeah and that that she had a brain issue or whatever I mean kids can um you know like childhood leukemia or whatever might be you know uh, uh, common or whatever I, I wouldn't necessarily go to a brain thing right away um yeah <clears throat> yeah the pressure on the round the brain and yeah so this is okay so she says to the woman to the mother you haven't had a reading before mm -hmm. but nowhere does she say or let me see if I missed it we haven't met before yeah, no, I didn't catch that either. I did catch that she said we haven't, she had, hadn't had a reading before. Don't tell me anything, just yes or no. Well, that's such BS because that woman is telling her everything. She's sitting there in person going, mm -hmm. and, it, and tears, and her, she, she's turning red. <laughs> I mean, there is so much feedback going on here. There is no, no verbal way. feedback, just body. Oh, yeah, there's tons. Right, of, yeah. Right. And when they cut away with the camera, we can only see what we can see on the camera. So there may be things happening off camera that we can't see or other people in the room. We don't know. Hmm. So just in the first minute, we were into this two minutes, 44 seconds. It seems pretty darn clear that this woman, okay, so this she knows something about this woman's uh something about nicole and something about brain and it sounds like you know this thing oh well as she's dying you're saying i love you i love you no kidding what do you think she's saying to her daughter as her daughter <laughs> yeah you know why now you were supposed to mow the lawn later today i mean what are you saying why didn't you clean your room enough if you'd cleaned your room we you wouldn't be dying right now no of course you're saying i love you so it's just <laughs> silly <laughs> my god you guys make me laugh um what is this video even for she says uh, they're both mic'd they've got camera right the camera or cameras ready so so what is this it feels like an advertisement because she she also said that she's a psychic a medium a translator and a channeler 
she got all those in like in a short amount of time so it's sort of like if you you know like one stop shopping there with that person you can get it all um but yeah it felt it felt like a like a commercial or an advertisement for her business yeah and, and also I, I this is just a, a bit of an aside but her name being fleur of course french for flower and she has the flower up in the left and susan you also have a flower <laughs> I have a beautiful flower from the garden. Yeah. Exactly. I have flowers on my dress. <laughs> yeah. So, you have any beautiful flowers in your artwork behind you, Janice? That you made? Ah, uh, some. I've got I've got little ones on my one of my little pots. You know? That's pretty. It's lovely. You guys, Janice makes this. Give everybody your website, Janice. This is all this is all paper collage on the outside of glass. My it's pineconeandsparrow.com. So pinecone and sparrow.com. Pinecone and sparrow. We oh. have lots of pine cones and lots of sparrows in our in our yard. So that's and that's that's a promotion that's worth listening to. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There's a promotion. And then piece <laughs> up above the beautiful. art up above. She does those beautiful collages. Thank you. Adrian, you <laughs> any flowers over there? Because I feel like that's gotta be our theme today. I don't have any in my room on or on camera. Oh, no. Well, the only thing that I have, if we're speaking birds, I've got uh, origami. Oh, fun! It's tiny. Damn. Is that tiny? Is that crazy? Yeah. Just made that for you. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so yep. that's sort of flowery. I don't have any flowers. I just have colorful. Well, then you're not going to do well in this reading. Oh, today. and this is a Pegasus. Colorful Pegasus. Nice. That's nice. She's got them stationed like that. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> so. We think it's hot. Let's see what, let's see where we go. Okay. If it's hot and I've seen them where they've just had just enough information. Okay. She knows she's going to be, Fleur knows she has to do well because this is going to be a commercial. They've got cameras in there. They've got uh, audio. This is going to be a commercial for her new channel that she's doing. So obviously, you know, if it goes badly, she doesn't have to put it up, but a little pressure, on her, it. you know, to get it right or edit it. Yeah. So, oh, I just saw something. I'll I'll mention it right now. That um, where was I going with this? Because uh, I got I just saw something. I got distracted. I just looked over and I saw something. Um, that she knows this woman's story. She may or may not know the woman, but she knows enough. So I'm expecting. I'm predicting ahead of time, you guys. That there's gonna be a lot of cold reading now just the very beginning was was hot and that she only knows two or three things about her mm. that's what i'm suspecting and that she's going to go into the dad because obviously dad's dead you know just just so is age. so is there like an intake form maybe and and you just give the basic why do, why are you signing up for this you well, know how did she find this woman she she probably said hey i need to do this i want to record one of my readings and i wanted to be somebody who looks visually nice you know that would and who would be be into this to be recorded and stuff and somebody says oh my gosh i have this friend do we know her name uh, suzanne oh suzanne that's right yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. she says i have this oh my friend suzanne would probably love to do it her daughter died of a brain uh, her daughter true. Nicole died of a brain something something in uh a few years ago and i'm sure she'd love to connect to her and then Fleur says, oh, the, oh, yes, I'd love it. I mean, it could be just that simple. All she's yeah. got is Nicole and, and dying of brain cancer. Brain cancer? What was it? Well, we don't know. It's something to do with her brain, for sure. I mean, it could be meningitis, for all we know. Yeah, it's a swelling and pressure around the brain. So it wasn't, yeah, so it sounds like meningitis, maybe. It took enough time that she was able to go into the hospital and not like a like a heart attack or something where you died in seconds or anything. Or even a head injury, right? Where you yeah, it wasn't anything like, like that. Yeah. It was something that she had time to to deal with. Okay, so here I'm gonna just show this. I'm not gonna start the recording, but let's see. This is something that I just noticed. Um, okay, so this is set up where she probably does the readings out of her home. And what you see right there is a box of Kleenex. See that box of Kleenex? So what Mark has taught me, Mark Edward has taught me, is that what, what they do is they keep the Kleenex under the counter or wherever, and then what they wait until the opportune moment where the emotion is at the height peak, 
and then they pull out the box of Kleenex and they hand it to them. He says that's a technique that they would do in the psychic world to get the most emotion out of the person. Like, like you know, because it would be like whenever you're trying to hold it together and something's happening in your life and it's very emotional and then you're like, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Okay, and you go out into the room and you're trying to go back to work or whatever. And then somebody comes up to you and they notice that it looks like you've been crying and they say, how are you? Or how are you doing? And you're like, <laughs> it's like a trigger so he says that this is what happens with the box of kleenex they keep it out of sight usually and then they just bring it out at an opportune time and that is the trigger for the person who you're dealing with to just lose it and that if they and the goal of these psychics is to especially when they're on film like this is to have them lose it because that's that's gold that's gold yeah Absolutely. yeah so i so i just noticed that box of kleenex it should be out of sight and she should bring in and out, but yeah, she's yeah. maybe different. Yeah, I noticed yeah. her her books are are by color coded too, like that other one that we saw the other day. Oh. Is, is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> they gotta make the room, the background look pretty. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so Janice is talking about we watched a video of who was it? Brandy. I can't remember which one it was. Con, somebody, she had a bookcase behind her and all the books were all color coded and people in the Facebook page. Hi, Kenny. Kenny's here. Um, all the books in the background are color coded and they were like, well, that's just for, you know, it's like a, what's it called? Um, what did they say? Th that they're not books to be read. They're books to be to see to, to be see. seen to look like they're smart yeah. i don't know maybe there's only a few books we'll see you guys watch that i'm going to be spending a lot of time with kenny biddle here really soon this is going to be really interesting i'm going to be the chauffeur of kenny biddle for almost a week up in seattle coming up you guys anybody in the seattle or portland or corvallis area of oregon we're going for a drive and i'm doing the driving and kenny's going to have to sit in the back seat i told him if he's too much we'll just sedate him just give him rum <laughs> no <laughs> think uh, kenny says his bookshelves are organized by bullshit and non-bullshit uh, there you go you can color code it i guess okay so let's go back you guys ready now look for this bookshelf that we were talking about and look for the um um the clinics box here all right flora what do you got we're about to go into dad let me back up a little bit because she's about to go to dad Boy, look at this woman. She's just like, look at her. Wait, I'm going to go over here. Look at her. She's She is upset. And she's got her microphone on, so somebody has got this set up. Okay, here we go. You understand? And I keep hearing this repeated to her, and I know she repeats it right back. Um, now, I also feel uh, 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 her father to have been present in the room as well. Um, you understand that with your with your girl, that, that your husband at that time would have been there as yes, well? Yes, he was. Um, now, would you remember for me, as she's here, that he would have been on her left side and you on her right side? Do you remember that for me? Yes, I think yes. so. Because I know you stand on opposite sides. Uh -huh. And I know that she is in enclosed by that love, connected by that love. And uh, um, she does bring me to a father figure in the physical world mm -hmm. who's still here, mm -hmm. who also would like to hear from mm -hmm. her. But I feel that the two of you are no longer together. That's and right. I know that she recognizes this yes. and just wants you to know. She now shows me angel figurines, and that these have been things that have been given to you as time has gone on in remembrance of her. And she wants you to know that every person that has given you an angel figurine has actually given it from her. That's my feeling. So she has influenced their energy to then give it to you. That's my feeling. And I see these angel figurines lined up for me in a collection. And I see her picture right there. Interesting. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm seeing the strangest thing. I'm seeing one of those. It's not a terrarium, but it's almost like a little thing where you can watch a caterpillar, caterpillar turn into a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? Did she ever have one of those, or have you seen them since we, her passing? Yeah. Right, yeah, I have one right now. You have one right now, <laughs> yeah. in the classroom, perfect. And she, that is just an indication for her to let you know that she knows of your life now. She sees what you're doing now. Obviously, you say that you're a teacher, but I know she teaches with you when you teach, and I know you'll feel her energy. That's my feeling. Um, she also brings me here to, thank you, um, a necklace with significance, but I know that she shows me a necklace with significance that you'll wear with her in memory or for her. 
perfect. Um, and I know that you never take it off, is what she says. Um, and keep her close to your heart in that way. Uh, she wants to thank you for that. Because um, she's giving me the sense that although it's been many, many years, she never stops being your baby girl. That's my feeling. She never stops. And I feel that you send her a thought, send her a message every night before you go to bed. And I know that she takes that message and she gives it right back to you. Oh. That's my feeling. Okay. Okay, pause. Oh, my God. <laughs> David, David Glick goes, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow kenny's got some stuff to say okay kenny says that left right side was very specific but not really important makes right. me immediately think she spoke with this woman previously spoke with a close friend who was in the room and not being mentioned or she saw a picture taken just before the time of death i don't agree what do you guys think i think I it's 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 more of a throw it out there and the person will fix make it fit because she was probably in the hospital more than like more than an hour right it's going to be in there for, it sounds like she was in there for some time and i'm guessing you could have them left and right right and left over you know they're going to just <laughs> But they're going to move around they're, they're not going to stay fixed so yeah and who cares you know, yeah, so cares? Like, you know. At, at some point it's probably going to be a fit and she even said i thought she said in the video yeah it's possible or something like that i think so i think so yeah but you know sound, sounds sounds right? that out that's a silly yeah. thing to say yeah <laughs> she did say on her right she says she says she was on you were on her right it's like what the heck yeah kenny we don't agree with you <laughs> Well, because, Kenny could be right though. It's just it's. But I, I think that's too much. She's yeah. Because why would you even ask that question? Very weird thing. I think that Fleur has done a lot of readings in the past, and this has been a popular thing to say. Is that it seems specific? It seems. Well, it's one of those cold reading things where it does seem specific, but will hit essentially everybody. It's it's so I think that was part of the cold reading, but then she went straight into the hot again. Like that, that's kind of how I felt about it. What, which, yeah, part, which part did you say? The the terrarium with the, as a teacher. Terrarium. Yeah. terrarium. What did she say like, about it? She says, "I see something like a, a, a where a, a butterfly, butterfly. Yeah, yeah like where a butterfly, uh, a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, something like that in a in a terrarium." That's yeah. pretty that's yeah. pretty common though for like second I think second or third grade I think they they actually at least in the school where I taught that was something in the science you know um curriculum every year that happened and it was a specific grade so if that teacher was taught second grade and she knew that right um, that would that would have been a pretty um reasonable guess you right. know that that she would yeah would you consider that hot or cold reading then susan her knowing and you guys cold. i'm listening to you guys i'm not saying anything because you two are doing a lot of assuming she didn't say anything about her being a teacher in the terrarium in the classroom the she said yes said that. the teacher said that all she said was a butterfly turning into a, a chrysalis or something and she no, she said she, she said yeah, something she, about a terrarium you know, like that you would find in a terrarium. But that's, I just thought that was very specific because I didn't know that. She, she just threw out something and the, and yeah. the sitter hit it. It hit on the sitter. Got it. I don't didn't she, she say that, didn't she say that she was a teeth, not, not, her, didn't the, the, um, psychic medium sure. um, say that she was a teacher after the, so teacher she knew she was a teacher. teacher. I think the teacher, so, she was a so teacher. that would have been like around here that would have been a guess that would have hit because um teachers do that in their classrooms right but she said i uh, correct me if i'm wrong somebody listening somebody on facebook who's listening right now or on yeah, YouTube, we're filling like, in the blanks even yeah, i think you might be yeah yeah oh I, yeah i don't because i don't pretend to be right i'm like <laughs> that well, this is why i want you here because this is exactly what i'm talking about is if you're in an emotional state like that like suzanne is She's not, she thinks she's in contact with her daughter. She ain't hearing anything right. I mean, she's just like, 
I know Kenny Biddle's being awful quiet now that we told him he was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> David, what do you think? I know you're there. But um, the uh, <laughs> there's other people watching too, you guys. So I think what happened was she said there was a butterfly. The, was like I'm getting a butterfly and a chrysalis, you know, how they change. And have you, and then she mentions a terrarium. Remember, she's looking right at the woman's face. So the woman could be nodding, oh, nodding yeah. and agreeing. And then she says something about a terrarium. And then the woman said, yeah, like I have one of those. And she says, you do. And she says, yes, in my classroom. Mm -hmm. So I think you guys filled in the blanks on that. Yeah, it could very well be. And I enjoyed every moment of it. <laughs> I'd, like to see, I'd like to listen to it again. No. I, I would too. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see. Okay, so oh, let's get to this, kidding. Uh, this Elisa's part. She did mention your, okay, where they're standing. And here's another thing I picked up on. You're standing on the right. You're standing on the left. Your husband is standing on one side. You're standing the other. She knew she had a husband, but we have to remember she's, she's right there in person. She can see her wedding ring. About with them, uh, Right now she's looking right. at her and she's looking at her. She's sitting right there. So the woman, I bet you anything has a wedding ring. So listen, I, I want to see. She Look, looks, see if the woman now. lifts her hand. Hmm? Just she's yeah, they're not now. together. No, that's not what she said. She said her father and her are not together. No, the child's father. Yeah, I I took it the same as Janice that the they're now I think we're gonna have to listen to this again. <laughs> this a little <laughs> bit again. I thought she said you're not together and she acknowledges that but i thought she i thought she meant her father no the the husband because she said husband oh she said husband see, was I on the left this, or right side i, I wrote that down but, but the ring could be significant still like you're saying she's not wearing a ring anymore so she would have been able to read that from her not having a ring anymore right. so she was or, separated or, or divorced they're, they're or whatever. Not, she knew that much information beforehand. I mean, if, if it's right. hot reading, you you don't know how much they have. Um, what do you think of the angel figures? I oh, think she was just throw, throwing that out. It's funny because I found that very specific. But to, for people- I don't know. Is it common given, for people to collect little angel figures? People send you angel figures? Maybe if you're- I don't, You're really reading guess. a young person's life. reading, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. In my I world, it would be. It would be very uncommon, but in someone else's world, it might be. Very well, we're we're atheists, so it's, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. don't, don't they have this little? Um, I can't remember the name of the company that put them out, but they're like really sweet, and they're girls, and they're you know, oh. or children, and they're they're super sweet looking angels, and somebody might have given her one, or, or she might have collected them, or what? I I would think that I thought that was just a random guess, and she didn't pursue it. Well, she said that they're all in a little collection somewhere, lined up in a collection. Mm -hmm. I guess instead of having them scattered around the house. And the I picture don't. of the daughter with it. Well, duh. Oh, yeah. that's right. Right, right. Well, I missed that part. <laughs> yeah. She she, right. She did say that. Uh, yeah, David says that he thinks the angels are too specific. Mm -hmm. So me too what? You think that they're hot, David, or you think that's cold? It's too specific. What do you think? Well, about with the, the angels place? around the picture, maybe. No, I think just getting the angels given to her by a lot of people was specific. I read it as specific, but then that's coming from my worldview. So I wouldn't know. Uh, what, yeah, I don't know. What the other worldview would be. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Brian Dunning's here. Oh, no. Dunning's here. Fake. <laughs> who, who allowed Dunning to be here? He says, he says, I think I'll save the trouble. It's all fake. Yeah, it's all fake. That. Dunning, we're here to try to understand how it is that the people watching this video feel that this was real because that was the whole reason it was handed to me as saying this I thought was real and because of that I paid 800 and something dollars for an emergency reading from this woman because it mm. felt so real it was real so I know it's a thing. <laughs> we're trying to decide if it's hot or cold reading and David thinks it's hot so the necklace thing was interesting but the mother is wearing a necklace yeah she went like this though and i you know like she you know like maybe would fiddle with it or what i i yeah it's under I right would, now it's under i think the, that's the hot clothing, but you could see maybe she saw it early somebody put the freaking microphone on her it's right here right oh nice necklace oh that that reminds me of my daughter 
It might yeah. have a little thing on it, but that has like uh, R.I.P. or or her daughter's name, Nicole. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! If it said Nicole on it, then we know the hot read. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was tucked uh, down in her shirt, so you can tell Nicole that it actually it, said Nicole put, or Nikki or whatever. Nicole put the put the necklace on her. Somebody I could have bet. asked her ahead of time. Who is it uh, you really want to hear from? Oh, my daughter Nicole. You know, I don't know. We don't know the whole thing, but that could be. Yeah. Oh my. She's, it feels like she's sticking to a lot of hot reading still at this point. You think? Mm-hmm. let me see if i can get it back to that point where it's the father let me see here where <laughs> she was, I, i'm like, curious yeah, because you you thought from the beginning like when she mentioned it the first time um before we talked you know like when you we very first started you thought she was talking about her, the sitter's father but it wasn't i think she was talking about nicole's father yeah you may be right with that yeah okay i'm gonna try i'm gonna try going back a little bit but not going too far back so let's see I think this is where I was. See, here's the necklace, you guys. So that's barely hanging. It's barely there. So if it says Nicole on it or something like that, and I'm curious if she lifts up her hand and we can see if there is a wedding ring or was a wedding ring or something. She's got her little things. Because rem- when they're hot reading, this Fleur person obviously has some skill. Oh, don't let me forget to say something about the thank you. But let's hear I the- see her picture right there. Interesting. All right. Thank you. Um, I'm seeing the strangest thing. I'm seeing one of those, it's not a terrarium, but it's almost like a little thing where you can watch a caterpillar caterpillar turn into a butterfly. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm mm-hmm. talking about? Did you ever have one of those or have you seen them since her passing? Yeah. Right, yeah, I have one right now. You have one right now <laughs> yeah. in the classroom, perfect. And she, that is just an indication for her to let you know that she knows of your life now. She sees what you're doing now. Obviously, you say that you're a teacher, but I know she teaches with you when you teach. And I know you'll feel her energy. That's my feeling. Um, she also brings me here to, thank you, um, a necklace with significance. But I know that she shows me a necklace with significance that you'll wear with her in memory or for her. Perfect. Um, and I know that you never take it off, is what she says, um, and keep her close to your heart in that way. Uh, she wants to thank you for that, because um, she's given me the sense that although it's been many, many years, she never stops being your baby girl. That's my feeling. She never stops. And I feel that you send her a thought, send her a message every night before you go to bed. And I know that she takes that message and she gives it right back to me. Oh. That's my feeling. Those are just platitudes, that little bit. So yeah. uh, did you catch it? So it was a little different than what we thought. So she says, I just see a butterfly and a crystal, like in a terrarium, like that would have, oh, I see a terrarium, like that would have a butterfly in it. Do you, did she have one of those? And she's watching the mother go, mm. and she's, I have one of those in the classroom. That's where the classroom came up. Yeah. It was the father reference before this or after this? After. So, okay, if I continue, it'll be the father. Oh, I remember, but, maybe it's farther back. I wanted to, I wanted to mention like her voice that she's using. Like she's using a very little girl's voice. And I wonder, I, mean, I don't, I wonder if that's her, her voice that she uses all the time or if that, if she's putting that little voice on to um, get more sympathy out of a mother who's lost a little girl just I don't know I don't know but she's from her, the little, her little it's like she's and also like accent. if you talk like little girlish then people might trust you a little bit more than I don't know maybe she, I'm just she's being very feminine very young you think she's young she looks young I don't know if she is young but she looks oh. okay so the thing I wanted to raise is that okay tyler henry the hollywood medium he is a created this is my opinion he's a created um Mm. character so he was doing readings for a while at like 18 17 18 at like a a psychic shop or something he was nobody and what happened is is whenever he got the you know somebody said let's let's make this guy our next big thing He's, he's malleable. He doesn't have a history. Let's do that. So Tyler Henry took on a whole lot of um, uh, 
what is it? He had to create a character. I have a feeling that Tyler took on a lot of, like either he went through a class, you know, people like, no, no, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to do that. Um, or he watched a lot of videos of other mediums and he took on the characteristics because Tyler Henry is a lot of amalgamation of a lot of other psychics. He does a lot of things that all a lot of the psychics do. Hmm. And so she's 2014. So she's pre Tyler Henry. So this thing she's doing with the thank you, she's like, thank you. Like she's hearing them saying something like right now saying it. It's that's the thing that Tyler Henry does now. So I, I wonder if he kind of picked it up from from there. So I, I just noticed it. I'm just noting that that is a, I don't know if other psychics do that very often, but I haven't heard it much. Kenny's saying, I agree. It feels like hot reading. Given they're both mic'd up, cameras on both of them, lighting is better quality. I wouldn't be surprised if a release and other paperwork was signed prior to the setup, allowing for time to look her up. Well, that's a good point. Just like Thomas John. They get, they, they, she's being recorded. So maybe, um, Oh, ooh. Kenny says, oh, <laughs> I just John noticed Edward. one of the books behind her is a John Edward book, Infinite Quest. <laughs> oh, it is. There it is. I didn't know it's John Edward. I wonder if he looks like Kenny. Oh, good catch. Hi, Kenny. Good catch. Okay. So I bet there's a whole bunch of those in there. So, you know, they learn from each other. I bet there's no James Randi books on that bookshelf behind here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where they should be looking because boy they'll learn the tricks quicker there or on my channel which of course this is 2014 but boy i was thinking about the other day i'm giving away all all the tricks and stuff if somebody wanted to be a medium this is the channel they should watch this is saying it's explained because they can they could learn all the tricks hey you guys you better subscribe out there on my youtube channel i'm coming for you <laughs> Um, okay, so let's go back. I think this might repeat a little bit. So let's see. I didn't get the part about the, the father. Oh my gosh, Mick. Okay, here we go. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to remember. I think the, she said the husband part way before that. Oh, did she? Yeah, when she was talking about left and right. Definitely. So like right at the beginning of when we started the second little section. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. Oh, hold on. Uh, this is another odd uh, memory that she has, but she keeps bringing me to feeding the ducks for uh -huh. some reason. And she wants to bring you back to the memory of feeding the ducks together. You understand that? <laughs> and she wants you to remember her like that. That's my feeling. Because that's a very happy memory huh. for her. And it feels to be somewhere that you could walk. Uh -huh. And it feels like a regular thing. Yeah. That's my feeling. And, um, uh, and she just grins a big grin when she remembers that because it's, it's such a precious memory for her. Such a precious memory for her. I uh, know I have the name Nicole, but also Sarah. That's my feeling. You understand a Sarah connection to her? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Cousin. Yes, cousin. Perfect. And Sarah is still in the physical world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you also understand the name Mary um, in connection mm -hmm. to the family? Um, your mom's mom also comes forward. Mm -hmm. That's my feeling. Now, is that the Mary? Yes. Okay, perfect. She's doing quite fine, and she doesn't want to really take the center stage here. But I know that as she comes in, she just wants to say hello and lets you know that she as well is connected to your little girl. Um, and, and I feel... that she actually is there when your little girl crosses over. So she's the first one to meet your little girl. That's my feeling. Um, did you ever have, um, or did she ever have? Okay, I'm going to pause because that's a lot. I have to come back over to these. Okay, so. Ducks. Cold or hot? <laughs> nobody, wants to, nobody wants to say anything. <laughs> I don't know. I think she knows an awful lot about this person. Like. <laughs> Isn't that okay? Let me ask you guys. David says it's hot. Okay, Janice, if I said there's a memory of you feeding ducks, would that would that resonate with you? Was there a time when you were feeding ducks and your mom was around? Yep. Adrian, no. In your area, it's moose. <laughs> 
<laughs> would it be in Canada? They got ducks there. Geese? Yeah, it'd be more likely geese or uh, pigeons. But it is a child thing, right? To feed yeah. the birds? Yeah. I think if she had said, I have a memory of you feeding birds with your mom, I would have thought that was more hunting. But to go straight to ducks... And this is where maybe some of that editing, I don't know, I'm not paying attention to the editing. Yeah, I haven't seen possible. any edits. Yeah, it's hard. To, it, only when they cut away, but it, it the audio is pretty smooth. But yeah, it, I don't it, think there's any. But having done a lot of audio editing, it's yeah. easy to make it smooth. <laughs> you can make it smooth, yep. <laughs> I do it all the hot, time. Hot, hot. The other thing, I've been looking at videos um, in slow motion, and sometimes I can pick up edits that my eye doesn't pick up right. when I'm just oh, watching it. Point. Yeah. So it's very, very possible to edit this to make it sound very smooth. And so if she had started with, I see you feeding birds with your daughter and then honed it in, was it pigeons? No, geese, no, du ducks. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense to me. Yeah. But if she actually did go straight to the ducks, I would feel like it's hot. Lee's here. Hi, Lee. Lee says Canada has cobra chickens, aka <laughs> Canada geese. Is that a thing? Oh, they cobra can chickens. be very vicious. The, the the geese, yeah, you have to. They're big, right? So they they can be. Yeah, we get those in Maine too. Yeah. Well, okay. Here's what I think. All right, for let's just throw this out there. I think that you have a motivated sitter who wants badly to have this connection to stay strong. So if she had said birds. Or if she had said alligators, I think that mother is going to go, yes, feeding the alligators. Yes. Yes. I think she's going to say yes like to almost any specific sort of specific thing that sounds like it was there because she's going to make, she's going to make, the mother is going to make it. All we have is the mother shaking her head and, you know, yes, yes, yeah. agreeing to it. So, so far she hasn't said no to anything. So right. I, I was just going to say that she, there's no, no. So those must either they're edited out or, or the person um, is hot like, reading. So I think the mother is in such an emotional state. It's supposedly it's her first reading and that she knows that she better agree. She's got cameras all over her. She gets this very personable woman in front of her. She wants to help her make it look good. And she's in contact with my daughter right now. So my gosh, life is wonderful. So I think, I think that, and people do said anything pretty much that was bird related. And there's a memory in the mom's mind of her daughter. And she's it's, it's right like, like, even if it would, had been pigeons that she'd been fed, she would have agreed to the ducks because our memory's fickle yes. and it can be yeah. maybe, close maybe, enough. Maybe and, yeah. duck and yeah, exactly. That's what I think is going on. So I think I'm mm -hmm. not agreeing with Kenny again. Kenny and I are not getting, we're not agreeing. <laughs> cold. I think it's just a cold statement that it's common that a mother would take her child for a walk somewhere and there's going to be birds and you're going to feed them. And that would just be a part of your routine if you were. There may have been a conversation, you know, did you go to the lake with the, you know, like whatever, or, you know, the park, was there a park or like, you don't know what, what conversation was around that. I could see it as a cold. I could see it either way depending on what the editing was. Um, I think it's cold. Hmm. Adrian, what do you think? Cold or hot? I don't, I don't see her like, because it's like in like some of the other, and like, I'm, like I've seen five readings. So, you know, <laughs> but in the ones that I've seen when, when it's a no, people are like, you know, they make a facial expression or whatever. And I'm not seeing any, I, I don't know. I think there's a lot of edits in the, I'm, I'm leaning towards maybe cold, but also lots of editing. Yeah, exactly. I would agree. To make you. it look like it's more I don't successful agree. than it I is. I don't think there's any edits. I think this is just straight shot. And I don't think, I think the mother is just going to agree to everything. And I think that was cold. What was the other thing she said? Ducks? Oh, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Sarah she got that right on, spot on. Okay, and uh, and right? Mary was the mom's mom. What did mom. she say? She said there's a Sarah and the, the sitter, Suzanne, said, yes, her cousin. Yeah. So and Sarah, then, is that how common of a name is Sarah? <laughs> Sarah. I have a like, daughter-in-law, Sarah. Uh, yeah, Sarah is extremely <laughs> common. And, and she doesn't say, is Sarah living or dead? She just says, no, well, I mean, she does. She asks her, is she dead? And it's like, well, don't you know? 
<laughs> she said, who's Sarah? Okay, so that's like, and Mary, oh my gosh, why didn't she just throw out John too while she's at it? <laughs> Jeez, gee, many Christmas. I mean, my goodness. But she did get that it was the mom's mom. Hmm. Yeah, that was 50 50, though. Yeah. But it, it could have it, been a friend. It could have been a, you know, a, a, like a play who friend. Is Mary? Anything, right? Mary is so <laughs> common. Um, mom's mom. That did sound, it might have been sounded guess, pretty confident it that it was mom's mom. I don't think it's hot. I think it was just cold. Who is Sarah? Oh, Sarah hit. Good. How about Mary? Let's try Mary. Yeah, that hit. Is it your mom? Maybe just from her expressions too. I don't know. Maybe she teared up more when she said Mary. And that was a guess when she said that Mary was dead before your daughter. Did you see how she's looking up at the sky? She's doing this. <laughs> I'm looking she's ahead. listening i'm looking the spirit I'm world and she's doing that and she had a long pause before she said mary is was there dead beforehand she was she debating whether she wanted to say that or i have a feeling she was that yeah, makes sense say it. what are the odds that, that the I'm odds are that that's what's going to be the case if it's the mom's mom come on that's because the mom's how old? 65 there? Something like yeah, that. Probably. Yeah. The daughter died a while back. We don't know how long ago. How, how long is... That's what she was doing. She was doing the math in her head and going, okay, I think I've got a better at odds saying that, that Mary went first. So Kenny says, I'm seeing too many specific details that are said without hesitation. Cold readers rapid fire statements until they get a hit. This feels like she has information already and trying to pass it off as from spirit. I think I agree that there is some information this woman has ahead of time, but I think it's the splur style is to be more smooth, kind of like a, oh, we lost Janice. Oh, her internet. She Remember she talked about her internet. Yeah, so Janice will come right back, hopefully. She's having internet problems. Not that she disappeared in a puff of smoke or anything. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah i well, think I've, kenny says it's demons that came and got janice <laughs> <laughs> that makes total sense venus is retrograde so so far we're more than halfway through this thing we're at six minutes oh my gosh we're already at six minutes oh cat says oh hi cat she ghosted us oh that's good cat <laughs> <laughs> really here she There's comes ah oh, see Ta da so uh, Kenny thinks you disappeared because of demons, and Kat said you ghosted us. Both. Yes. <laughs> Both true. Demon ghosts. <laughs> Demon ghosts. Okay, so I think so far, and we're six minutes into this thing, so we're getting really close to the end. I think that, sh that so far, my statement is, is that Fleur has a little bit of information on this woman. She knows she her daughter died of some brain thing slow in the hospital and that her name is nicole and <laughs> kitty says afterlife is ganging up on janice um, yes. <laughs> and that's about all taking I revenge i think i think fleur knows almost nothing about this woman but is smooth enough remember these people are practiced she's smooth enough that she's just pulling in the cold reads and they're hitting and and the mother's agreeing to him because she really wants him to be right. Hmm. Do you guys have a strong opinion where we're at right now? I think it's a mix. I That's where I'm going to fall. Mix. I think it's a mix. I think she has just at least two or three things about her that, and the rest of it is just cold. That's what I think. Okay, let's see. Let's go back. We're going back. Oh, oh my gosh. Here we go have a, a, a pet rat uh, no not a pet rabbit maybe a pet rabbit and i don't know if it's the pet rabbit or another animal in the family but did she ever call one of the pets mr something our cat okay the cat mr, mr. nibbles, mr. He's, mr. nibbles. He's, he's still there perfect i know that she keeps calling out to an animal and mm -hmm. its name is mr something mm -hmm. that's my feeling and i know she has fond memories of this animal it doesn't feel to be the rabbit but the yeah. cat and I know that she has memories of this mister and that she still comes around. That's my feeling to play with this kitten. All right. um, <clears throat> she puts those awareness ribbons all around. Okay, wait, I'm stopping because I have got to, I've got to say something about this cat. 
she says at the beginning, oh gosh, I wish I had this all clipped out. She says at the very beginning, a pet rat mm -hmm. rabbit. Mm -hmm. I think she does. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this again before <laughs> I say because I'm almost positive she says she goes from rat to rabbit, and the mother is the one who's agreeing. Yep. That's when she goes, yes, rabbit. And I said I, sitter fills in. So I think you're right. You said what fills in? The sitter fills in. So Suzanne fills in what it is. Yeah. Uh, cat says rat, rabbit, cat to kitten. Okay, let's see. The family, but did she ever call one of the pets Mr. Okay, or something? I gotta go back to her. She wants to say hello and lets you know that she as well is connected to your little girl. Um, and, and I feel... Doing her math. That she actually is there when your little girl crosses over. Looking at looking the at the woman who's giving her the clue right that's there. My feeling. She's staying uh, alone. Did you ever have, um, or did she ever have a, a, a pet rat? Uh, no, not a pet rabbit. Maybe a pet rabbit. And I don't know if it's the pet rabbit. <laughs> or the family, but did she ever call one of the pets Mr. or something? Our cat. Okay. The cat? Mr. 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 Nibbles. Mr. He's, Nibbles. He's still there. Perfect. I know that she keeps calling out to an animal, and mm -hmm. its name is Mr. something. Mm -hmm. That's my feeling. And I know she has fond memories of this animal. It doesn't feel to be the rabbit, but the yeah. cat. And I know that she has memories of this Mr., and that she still comes around. That's my feeling, to play with this kitten. Um, okay, so the... so it was a rat, rat rabbit, <laughs> a rat rabbit. <laughs> the mother's expressions and acknowledgement yeah. is where she went, and then she kind of did. She kind of go, yes, it's a rabbit after she saw the mother's expression. Well, and the and of course Suzanne gave Fleur the Mister Nibbles. How Phil, common Phil is it for somebody to have an animal named Mister? I never have had one. Quite common. I think I think it's not uncommon. I yeah. don't know. Anybody I listening think out there? Do you have you ever had a mister or anything? We didn't growing up. We, we didn't, didn't have yeah, a lot lots of cats, anything. but no um, misters. Hmm. Mister. But and, that's well, I don't know. I'm I i do not know how common that is, but then again, these psychics they get used to like demographics. They know what is normal and likely and common, and they're gonna say it. And if it was wrong, you just move on. Or she knew but, about it beforehand. And it was just playing the game. You and you guys in your hot reads. My <laughs> everywhere. Um, I think that that's normal. I thought it was odd that she's calling out to her rabbit, Mr. Nibbles or, or the cat or whatever. Yeah. And isn't, is not over there in heaven with her heaven or wherever she's at. Why is she saying, why would she need to acknowledge it? Why wouldn't she say she's here with me? Mr. Nibbles is here with her. Why would she say she's, she's, calling out to okay so we got some comments here all right let's see kenny says mr ed yes i'm betting the sitter had a friend that put her up to this i agree yeah and that friend already had gone to the medium several times i agree and that friend says i have a friend that just went through insider information maybe enough to do a little research perfect mark for you i agree i think that's what's going on is somebody said yeah. i have a friend who has a daughter who passed away. Her name is Nicole of this thing a long time ago, and she still hasn't gotten over it. And she'd be perfect for a YouTube video. And that's okay. Lisa says, I agree with Kenny. This is hot reading too many hits. This is a Facebook. This is a Facebook review. When the woman had contacted you had a common name. Do you know Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. So the woman who contacted me, Cheryl suggested this video to her. And then she got a reading with Fleur and there was no information. She It was just a miss after miss after miss. It's because she couldn't hot read her. So I think that it's, okay, Mr. Splitfoot. Oh, that's from um, uh, the Fox Sisters, Mr. Slip, Splitfoot. Oh, okay. And Mr. Ed, the horse. Mr. Head, the horse. Lots of rabbits are Mr. Oh, is that true? Kat, do you know that for a fact? Or is that something you're thinking of? I don't know. Do rabbits, are rabbits named Mr.? I don't know. Somebody Google it quick. Okay. Uh, David says the pet might have been a guest, but the Mister as the name wasn't. I 
I still think that might be more common than we think. Kenny says, but does the family also have a rabbit? She moves on to the Mr. Name quickly, and we don't see the sitter. Is she nodding yes or no? Maybe they have a rabbit and a cat. I think they did, didn't they? Have a, they did, yeah. The rabbit was something, and the cat was named Mr. Nibbles. Mm -hmm. So the rabbit wasn't Mr. What was the rabbit's name? Do we know? They didn't. She said Mr. or something, and uh, referring to the rabbit, and the sitter said cat. It was a cat. Okay, so cats, our cat, who's on Facebook Live right now, says, my friends who have rabbits are often Mr. Fluffy Butt or something or the like, both in Canada and the UK. Is that so, Mr. I don't know. This, okay, this video is being filmed in 2014. The death of, of Nicole was before, long time before. So like, what, 2009 or something? I don't know. And he has oh, a shaka. What? Hot he's like a, a hot like he's really he's really <laughs> playing the hot stuff i still think that there's just a tiny bit of hot and everything else embellished in the cold oh i'm i'm leaning more hot than cold adrian's agreeing with you i think yes because you know i don't know about this stuff but it just feels too specific okay let's go let's there was a i i was thinking of the the mom in that age there was there's a writer named Thornton Burgess, I think, that did kids' books. And there was um Sammy the Otter. Like, like there, the, I can't think of the names off the top of my head, but it leaned more towards the Mr. Something to me. Like, um, I wish I could remember more about it off the top of my head, but you know, like I'm I'm thinking of the mom's age um rather than Nicole's age and what books she might have read as a kid i know there's somebody yes um you know mr toad mr whatever you know oh, um everybody you is know mr. what i mean oh, it was yeah. mr toad wasn't it yeah so i'm thinking i'm thinking maybe that was a good get if it was a guess it would have been okay this person's of a certain age and those are the kind but you know i don't know if this, I, re I remember um, reading those books to my kids yeah the, that was it's a disneyland it's mr toad's wild ride and that well, was that's different fairy, but it was a whole yeah. fairy tale of mm -hmm. i think they were all mr and that's a really good point because she said if 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 the mr hadn't hit with nicole it could have hit with the mom suzanne right so if she said was there a pet named mr It, it would have hit anywhere else growing up for Suzanne or also for um for I mean I think it's pretty specific still but but I think I think that if it was cold it would have been more based on the mom's age than Nicole's age I predict I'm making another prediction and I haven't done this because I've never heard this woman floor person ever do readings if somebody were to watch a lot of her readings over time. And I think this is true with Suzanne Northrup. If you look at the readings over time, I think you start seeing that this is a thing they say. Mm -hmm. That like Mark, Mark Edward, when he's doing cold reads, he uses Charlie, who's Charles. It's his thing. And I bet you anything with her, I bet you she uses, I wonder, I wouldn't be surprised if it, Mr. appears. Did she, was oh. there an animal named Mr.? that appears in future readings that this is it's a cold reading tactic that she's picked up on and had good success with and she thinks that it works well, and it sounds to, very specific to expand on what janice was saying the books i just looked it up and i don't know if these are the same ones you're referring to janice but there was a whole series called mr men and men had, yeah there were all these little books and like there was mr tickle and there was miss the, everything had Mr. in front of it. So, and it was the main character in each little book and they were little tiny books like this. And they were all starting with Mr. So were they, were they it, men it, or were they animals? Both. So they when were, were they published? These are 1971. They started. Well, that'd be fine for Nicole. I never yeah. heard of them, Mr. Men. Yeah, and little Miss books as well. Hmm. It, all the characters have Mr. and Mrs. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. Cause like Mr. Tickle, I mean, that's kind of, they, they, they had ideas that were Mr. and Mrs. too, right? Like not just. 
Right. Well, those people watching this on YouTube, can you guys leave me comments if you had a pet or there was a pet in your family that was a mystery? Yeah. Because I, I feel like it's probably a common thing. I've never heard a psychic use that before, but I wouldn't yeah. be surprised if this is, ah, uh, Kat says, Little Miss and Mr. Books. Yes. Yes. The Little Miss. I've never heard of them. Is it a Canadian thing? I No, it's the authors from, let me just look, English. So the UK. But yeah, I, my kids, Canadian. we inherited the books from, uh, I don't remember, somebody gave them to me. I didn't purchase them myself and my kids love them. They're, they're silly. They're very silly books and they're very fun, hmm. but I could totally see somebody naming their cat, Mark. Mr. Or Let me Mr. Mark. Let whoever. Me ask the psychic. Mark, yep. what psychic? You, um, would, um, so the psychic used the phrase, ask the mom, was there a pet in the family that had a, that was called Mr. Mr. Piffles? <laughs> Mr. Piffles. From, there we go. No, but the, that's recent. <laughs> but was that, would you say that's a common phrase? Were you, do, do you know of anybody who would have had a pet named Mr. Yeah, Mr. Biggles, Austin Powers. Well, even before that, like growing up. Sure. Is that a common phrase you would think a psychic might use? Yeah. But was there a pet <laughs> in your family named Mr. No, not in my family. No, but I mean, that would be something a psychic would say. You already asked me. And your answer is, yes. he says it's yes. Yep. I think it's unusual enough so that maybe that people wouldn't think it was a cold, specific. you know, that it was a guest, but, you know, whatever. Mr. I, I can I can argue it both ways. Oh. Okay, so let's go back because we'll never get through this thing if we don't. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait. My screens keep changing. All right, Fleur, what do you got for us next? I think she, I think it's more cold reading. There's awareness ribbons all around you now. And it feels to me that you have done a great deal of awareness promoting, mm -hmm. as well as worn one of those ribbons yourself. You understand that? Mm -hmm. And I know that as she brings that to me, that she just wants to thank you. That's my feeling. I feel that you've also gotten the opportunity to meet other children who have also gone through what she has gone through. You understand? And I know that every time that one of them gave you a hug, it was like she was hugging you. And I know that she joins their energy, and I feel that you will have the opportunity to see many more children that have suffered from the same thing. That's my feeling. I feel as well that she doesn't want you to hold yourself accountable because it feels to me if you knew now what you knew then you would have had um, more chance to prepare I know that she wants you most of all to let you know that she loves you immensely I know that she wants you to know that she'll be waiting there for you although it's not your time yet but she'll definitely be waiting for you and okay I'm pausing <laughs> I'm glad she added that it wasn't her time yet. <laughs> it's older my Holy moly. Hello. Die tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as soon as the I'm reading's to... done, you know, we've got to get the reading done first. We think of the same thing. Gotta pay me. <laughs> Somebody Google to see if his mother killed right. Hey, the cat, the check has to clear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> oh. I think all of that was fluff. Yeah, so Kenny says she stumbled with the if you were you knew now. Oh yeah, yeah. And I wrote down energy because that's Kenny's keyword on his show. He does a show every Friday night. And if you use the word energy in the wrong connotation, you're supposed to have a drink. So there, there should have been drink. I so I wrote that down on my paper. David says this is all basic stuff. <laughs> That is funny. We have to have her on here. She says, "Can I get crackers for all this cheese?" <laughs> <is> funny. <laughs> so, um, awareness ribbons extremely common. Oh my gosh! When somebody dies of some condition which I want to note has not been mentioned because I was just going to bring that up <laughs> that awareness ribbons or awareness is commonplace, especially since he's, if you advocate for advocate for it, I see it all over. Like when I'm going into people's Facebook pages to look for information for whatever reason I'm looking for it, somebody's died. There is a post, there's a fundraiser post, uh, please donate post. Uh, we're having a walk walk for whatever awareness thing um 
And David says, yeah, he says, this is, I mean, this part is cold reading, but it's the kind of feel good stuff that psychics always do. Yeah. They never say yeah. Yeah. anything else. <laughs> Awareness ribbons. And I wrote, what is the ribbon for? <laughs> right. We don't know. Just don't have awareness. Yep. Yes. <laughs> she hasn't told us sometimes whenever the psychic does not not know what the answer is and i've noticed this a lot in the videos i've been doing recently when the psychic does not have a clue how the person died they'll come out right out and say and he doesn't want to talk about his death right <laughs> i wonder why maybe because you don't know how he died it's like facilitated it's exactly like facilitated communication janice if they don't know the detail they just say, well, we're, we're not talking about it right now. Because if the facilitator doesn't know, she's the facilitator. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The facilitators will, will start saying, well, this will be typed out, supposedly. Well, the evaluator is not being nice to me. I can't or I'm afraid or that, that will come out through the facilitated communication as they're doing these tests and the facilitators realizing, uh oh. I'm the one that's moving the kid's hand. Then, then all the facilitated messages after that are like, oh, this isn't fair. I'm too tired. I'm scared. So it's the same. Yeah, it's the same as the psychics are doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Adrian, anything else? I think it sounds like she's finishing up here. I, there, I don't know what she's going to talk about for a whole minute, two minutes that are left. Well, the only thing that I noted was exactly what you noted was that she has not said, what has she not said? You often talk about that. What is missing? What is the actual disease? Why can't she come out and say, well, you know, you have awareness ribbons for meningitis or awareness ribbons for wearing a helmet when you're cycling because she had a brain injury or there's none of that. that. There's so much missing about it. So the same thing is what you're noticing. Yeah, there's a lot missing. Um, and I like, why would the kid want to talk about that? I mean, it's a kid talking to her mom, right? Supposedly. So why would the kid even give a crap about that part of it? You know, it's like, you'd think they would want to like give, have a conversation, you know, have some sort of more solid conversation. <laughs> I don't know. Great grandma is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want some help, like lottery numbers. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Who's going to win the Super Bowl, you know, in, in 2026, so she can start betting on it now? Kitty says, I'm sorry, your 10-minute reading is up. Please exit stage right. It is. It's like they're, okay, so we're ending now. Oh, Here good comes point. Here attitudes. I'm out of stuff. <laughs> feel good stuff at the end, yeah. Very feel good stuff. Okay, let's see what happens. Here we go. We're getting to the last two minutes. Let's see how far we go. I know that she's extremely proud oh my God, of how many people you have helped since her passing. And I feel that you've been there not only for children, but also for mothers. And I know that your strength has allowed many others to move forward in their lives. And for that reason, she just gives you the biggest hug. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, she had died of encephalitis, and it was like five days. Wow. And it was really sad. So you like really. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did she just give? Did she just, <laughs> just do what I think she just did? She said she died of encephalitis, like after that whole reading. In other words, she <laughs> did not know. And the mother had to fill it in because she's. She, yeah. Encephalitis is it's swelling of the brain what is it i'm trying to think yeah, yeah. like infection it, on the brain yeah often caused by meningitis they're for kids mm. and mothers but the fathers and grandparents are out of luck no empathy for you that's from Kat. <laughs> just the mom's the only one that cares mm. and he said wow david said oh. so that was interesting so so I'm surprised she left that in. Like, yeah. who made who made that decision? Maybe she really felt like she nailed it, and therefore she would leave it in. But she doesn't realize that it shows that she should have said something about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Instead of it being supplied by the, as Susan likes to say, the motivated sitter. I don't yeah. think that these people 
motivated if there's anybody out there who's going to be sitting and going into great detail about her readings in the future well she's not psychic but i mean look at the detail we're going into right now three of us and people on facebook (laughs) kenny says the editor was filed fired soon after (laughs) (laughs) so yeah that was significant to all of us that the mother had to say the what caused the death yeah and that it was a slow death Oh, how awful that must have been. No wonder the mother's, well, of course she's grieving as her child, but I mean, my gosh, to see somebody die for five days, your child. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. They have encephalitis. What is the thing again? Encephalitis. Encephalitis, like. Inflammation on the brain. Do they Uh, wear like advocacy buttons for that? I've never heard of that. Well, it can be caused by so many things. And I'm just looking it up right now very briefly uh and the mayo clinic this is their definition is there's several causes including viral infection autoimmune inflammation bacterial infection insect bites and others and i think it can happen really quickly too i think yeah like unexpected like healthy and then gone and how old is nicole never said i don't think she said what is your what is your judging because that was another point there's no indication of how old this daughter is. She kept it very vague, which is what is missing, yeah. which is a lot because did she make it to teenager? Did she make it? She says a long time ago, that child could have been dead at six or it could have been 16 or four, six. Hmm. What do you think? I think child because uh, like rabbits and butterflies and things like that. But, you know, she didn't say. But would would the mother have reacted if, if if it had been a child? Let's say the child, let's say Nicole dies at 25. Okay, that's fitting. The mother is probably close to 75. And so, and it was a long time ago. So let's say the mother makes the child makes it to 25. Would the mother have still reacted to comments about Mr. Ducky Face or <laughs> or feeding ducks yeah. which would relate to a young child yeah she doesn't ever mention like boyfriends that that, that nicole could have had or her first right. kids or, or going to the prom or yeah prom graduation going to anything that was older related because i don't think i personally still don't think that flora knows how old nicole was when she died she just knows a long time ago he doesn't know if it was a five-year-old that died, but she knows she made it out of babyhood. Hmm. Nobody's saying anything. Nobody but she says that, that she helped children and their moms. So that like all, all that, like th- my impression through the whole thing was younger, a younger child, like Boston Children's Hospital kind of, you know, like what I think of as, although they they have people that are, older but that but, was with a child who died as a teenager too yeah just because it's cold definitely not an adult though because of she the work never of, mentions her as an adult it's the only she as Janice was saying though she refers to her as helping other children like her her daughter it sounded like but maybe i'm putting words into what would hmm. the mother have said it's still her child even if she was 40 mm-hmm. um She says, and the other thing was, you wouldn't, she said, you wouldn't, if you had known now what you knew then, you'd be pe- better prepared. But it, what she didn't say what I thought she was to say, you would have done things differently, like, you know, got to the doctor sooner or had a different surgery or something like that. But or been vaccinated. Or been vaccinated. I think <laughs> she was very vague about how she said you'd be better prepared. I think you could say that about any anybody's Situation. experience with Absolutely. someone dying, and it doesn't matter if they're your kid or you, you know, like friend or family member or whatever. Like you could always, there's always something you could go back and say, I could have been more prepared had I known what I know now. Of course, I would have been more prepared yeah, for course. whatever it was. So Kimmy says she effed up that last statement. Okay, so now here's the post interview. So I guess this is talking to the mother about how accurate it was, I guess. 
or are they going to talk to Flora? or I don't know who they're going to talk. I don't know. I have not seen this. You guys, this is mm. all brand new to all three of us. Um, okay. It's one minute, 17 seconds long. Have you ever been to a medium before? No, I've never been to a medium before. Um, have you, so you've never met Fleur before either? Before no, I've never meet? met Fleur. Someone recommended her to me, but ah. this is my first experience with a medium. Uh, so, okay. And what made you want to come to a medium? What made you want to come get information? Well, my daughter passed away three years ago, and I wanted to try and, you know, get some, like, closure, or not closure, but, like, see that she's okay and, you know, communicate with her. So I thought this might be a good way. Where was your expectation, where your questions answered? Was the reason that you came here Yeah, I fulfilled? Feel, yes, it was. I feel, um, I'm really glad I came because I got way more information than I ever expected. And it, it feels really good to like talk to her, you know, hear her talk through Fleur. Hmm. All right, now with what she just said, how old would you say Nicole was when she died? Well, obviously it sounds like she was an adult now. So we were wrong in our assumptions. Janice? Yeah, and I'm crappy at, at at guessing people's ages. Sorry, it's like okay. Well, how old is that? Oh, I have no idea. Huh? She's got wrinkles all over her neck. She's she's she is seventy. She's been in the sun a lot. But th but this? <laughs> no, that woman's seventy. I think she's older. I think she's older than I thought she the child was when she died. Okay, so the, let's say the mom's seventy. Yep. Do the math. She's given birth. Let's say at twenty. 25. Let's be generous. 35. Versus 30. <laughs> so 70 minus 30 is 40. And the child's been dead three years. So we're at how old? 37. Huge difference. Hmm. So, so the child, Nicole, either died in her 20s to almost 40. Yep. And we were all thinking child. Yeah, by the way it was going, yeah. 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 So she has a lot more to room to work with. Well, as, that's why she like, kept it all childish. Yeah. She kept because yeah. she didn't know she died three years that's ago. Right. So uh, she kept it all everything that uh, Fleur said was child related because she all Fleur knows is that her daughter died young or died a long time ago. Three years is not a long time ago. Not no. when you're in your 70s. I'm sorry, three years ago was the beginning of the pandemic, and I want those years back. I think we owed it. Okay, so <laughs> Kate Kat says that she thinks the mom's under 50 has been in the sun too much. Okay, let's say mom's 55, which I don't think so because I'm 60. Well, so am I. I'm Me the same too. age as you are. And I don't, that woman is <laughs> older than us. But we haven't been in the sun a lot. But we again, it was her neck is what was giving away the age. Right. Yeah, she looks a lot more like my mom's age, and she's 80. Ooh. <laughs> At 83. Okay, let's say the mom was in her 50s. Let's say her mom's 55, which I don't think so. But let's say she's 55. And the childbearing ages are 25 to 30. Let's That's generous. So if she had the child at 30 and the mom's 55, so that would be the child is still in her 20s. Hmm. Very I mean, interesting. To, terrarium and Mr. Nibbles or whatever. And we could go into a real, yeah, you know, we could really go crazy and say, well, she could have had in vitro when she was in her 40s. <laughs> Not unheard of, but you never know. But yeah, my mom was almost 40 when she had me. So, yeah. okay, yeah. so let's say the mom's 40. She has the child at 40. The daughter dies. Okay, she's now 55. So that's 15, then three years. So the daughter's 11. That's still not an infant or a child that she's describing. I'm still, what what, what Fleur is describing is like a six or eight-year-old, you know, like yeah. a, 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and that yeah. age. And this is turning out to be yeah, a pretty cool. safe bet. It's a safe bet. Yep. As long as she got her out of infanthood. Yep. Um, Which would make the cold reading theory a little bit more strong. Okay, so Kat says she did look older than all of you, but but I know some women in their late 40s and 50s who have smoked and been roasting in the sun with baby oil while their whole life look a lot older. Okay, I'm gonna let's look at the picture of this lady again. Let me find something. Okay, she has been crying. All right, let's look. Let's all right, everybody. I hate to judge a woman's appearance, but for this example, we're trying to figure out how old we think she is. It's so hard to say. But see this. Looking at it now, I'm thinking 50s as well. It looks. looks Her hair is dyed. That is dyed hair. Yep. And um, she's been crying. Mm -hmm. But this is just a telltale. You know, this this turkey neck stuff. She probably lost a lot of weight, but I bet you she's 60s. She could be or later so i definitely think her daughter was probably older than i thought she was yeah i think we can what four said yeah look at and, and kat did say something earlier she said she said she helped other kids and getting hugs from them was getting a hug from her daughter so it makes it sound like the daughter was a teen or younger and i agree that those a lot of the statements made us feel like it was going to be somebody younger mm -hmm. And when you think about it, boy, you guys are awesome. I'm so glad you're doing this with me because that made that just opened up a whole world. I, um, oh, yeah, Kat says we never did look to see her hands. That would have been a giveaway about her age. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was a ring on it, but she never did. Oh, wait, wait we did. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? She did this. She, she with did her the, right the, yeah. With, with, her, right with her necklace. Let me see if I can find a picture of that real quickly. I, I did pay attention to which hand she used, and it was her right hand. When which hand is the wedding ring usually on? Left. Oh, that's a good point. I forgot <laughs> about that. Good catch. Let's see. But maybe we can see an age. You can kind of tell. So depending on how well you take care of your hands. Mine look like I'm 110 because I spend so much time in the yard and I don't wear gloves. I thought it was interesting that she said that that, that someone had recommended her. That, that oh yeah, we didn't even get to that part yet. That I'm gave away a whole me. lot of helpful information. Uh, yeah, she says she's never oh, had a reading before, but her friend recommended true. her. So that's bam. Right. Oh, Adrian's showing off bling. I missed it. Yeah, I was just showing off my my wedding band on my left hand, my little tiny ring. Oh, I'm not big into the. <laughs> my husband has said a few times oh, would you like big diamonds i went no i would shoot you if you spent money <laughs> i'd rather have our payment on our house yeah, exactly <laughs> or a trip exactly. or camera yeah. equipment, something camera more equipment. Important. <laughs> something important like camera equipment <laughs> right there's no right. Uh, woman ever um, <laughs> only adrian oh. oh well celestia what was it she wanted i can't remember what it was that rob gave her it was like a some kind of a air compressor or something oh yeah yeah <laughs> well, we're talking about her and i get along that well i can't find the picture yeah my partner bought me a barbecue grill i was just like hey, i just want a barbecue outside it's too hot yeah okay <laughs> air conditioner for the bedroom yeah exactly. i'm all right with that too have air conditioning wow well, well we didn't until this year it's like that says in the post uh invest in skookum studios yes cat <laughs> <laughs> and she also said in the post interview she does put up her hand so maybe you can look at the post interview mm -hmm. if you can find uh, it she does but cat said okay i'm oh, no, glad so many people oh, yeah, are she, looking at this she said. <laughs> so she's scanning through it to look okay i see where she's lifting her hands but i think they're blue. it's fun with so many eyes on this because it it, we all are catching yeah, things that making this yeah, much cool. easier for me to go through i it. love this stuff not only are you seeing stuff that i wouldn't have seen but it's it's much more interesting Okay, hold on much more humorous okay i'm trying to get to the frame where it shows our hands but they're a little blurred as ago and i wanted to 929 kenny says 929 will that be in the original then yeah okay here we go I'm trying to get it to go right to it and stop right there someone recommended her to me but this is my first experience 
with the meeting. I think that's uh, true. Okay. And what made you want to come to me and what made you want to come get information? Well, my daughter passed away three years ago and I wanted to try. Ah! Ah! Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if, I'm gonna get, if everybody's asking for something, I would me, what made you want to come where it's real information tight, where I can Well, everybody. my daughter passed away three years ago, and I wanted to. Okay. So her I don't think she has her. rings on. No rings on. So yeah, left, left husband. The gardens. <laughs> there you go. Could be I, that. Too. Well, she said they were separate or divorced. Yeah, so I wouldn't expect that there would be a ring. Right, but I was just using it to try to figure out her age. And mm -hmm. it's not telling me. At least, she's at least 60. This woman isn't. But we confirmed that she could have done a cold read for the whole, your husband's left you or you separated thing. Oh, yeah, just looking yeah. at the fact she has no ring on, but she had a she had a ring on. She, was, she had somebody in, in the future. Okay. She says, so who's this guy interviewing her and why? That's what I was saying. He was in the room with her. And I mean, that's it. She says, I've never had a reading before. I've never met for before, but I was recommended. Yeah. So of course her friend recommended her and said, I have somebody who would be perfect for you to do the video. She's never had a reading before, but she has a daughter that died a long time ago when she was young named Nicole of some kind of can I don't know what from some kind of cancer thing I mean not cancer some kind of brain, brain thing brain thing yeah because yeah, not a lot of people would come up with the word encephalitis I can't right. even say the damn thing let alone spell it or anything but yeah I would never have thought of that so that's exactly well, yeah or even to know for the for the psychic to to know that it wasn't brain cancer it was it was you know, aligning around her brain you know that's so that's way too specific to not be hot reading Kat says those are not 70 year old hands. <laughs> she's probably right. She's in her late fifties, probably. She's she's got her hair dyed and you really can't. My hair, you guys, this is gray. There's no dye on my hair. This is gray. It's what a 60 year old woman looks like with the gray. Yeah, I've got, I've got the is. same. It yeah, you, you and I, Janice, we have the you guys have the same. Yeah. And I've earned every one of those gray hairs. <laughs> I don't care if I have them or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at mine. Talk about earning gray hair. So this woman is dyeing her hair. So she's so it's hard to tell, but I still think she's. I don't know, I well, we can say she's between the ages of fifty and seventy. How's that? It's so hard <laughs> to tell people's age. I I can't tell. I'm terrible at it. But the point is. This Nicole was not a child when she died. She right. was in her teens or or twenties. Correct. Absolutely. I think we all agree. Everybody agree on that. What is Kenny saying? Oh, it's oh oh, oh he has gray and he's distinguished. he's distinguished. Oh yes. I still think of Kenny as like thirty or twenty five or something. I can't picture fifteen. Man. Fifteen. That's about right. No, he's yeah. a drinking age. He's got to be like twenty five. I think <laughs> he just doesn't look to me anything like a. I don't know. What is he, 70 now? Kenny. I think he is, isn't he? Kenny, are you 70? Yeah, I think he like, <laughs> looks really good. Donna, he married a child bride or something. I don't know. Right, right. Okay, so we, we all agree, right? Okay, give me your final thoughts. So is somebody watching this, okay, wait. Somebody watching this, like it was recommended to me, Cheryl. That sure looked accurate. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Very, very accurate. Uh, Fleur is very, uh, she's, she's very smooth and kind and she is gorgeous and her voice is just soothing. Yeah. Should, should be on a Disney, uh, she should be doing Disney stuff, uh, voiceovers. <laughs> very good. Okay, go ahead. Adrian, you go first. Oh my goodness. Uh, no pressure. No, <laughs> you want me just to summarize? Like, Yeah, what do you think? Oh, I guess trying to look at this from somebody who doesn't know any of this stuff that you brought into my world. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. Sorry. The before I knew you, me, would have looked at that and thought it was totally scripted and was not real. That's how I would have taken it. I, would, I still wouldn't have believed. 
Hmm. But because it's so well produced, I can totally see somebody believing in it, thinking, wow, this is amazing. It's very well done. And it's very smooth. And she has so many specific, in quotes, hits that I can see how if you do think this is real, this would be a good person to go to see. So I totally get why. Is it Cheryl? Is that who it was you said? Why she would have. She's in, and she was in grief too. So she's, exactly. So she's in a grief moment. So Lee she says he's found this woman on Facebook. How did you find her, Lee? All we had was Suzanne. He's got a first, middle, and last name. That's amazing. Wow. Is it in, is it in the, is it in the uh, uh, YouTube video or? Maybe. Maybe that's how. Wait, we have him respond. But go ahead. Finish up what you're saying. I just want to lead to, to tell. Well, us I think, I think that I totally understand why she would have believed it because it is a well done video and it seems like she's getting a lot of hits and that she has something so I, I get why that would happen when you're a believer and you're grieving totally get it it's of all the ones you've made me watch so far made me watch. <laughs> it's like, God, you sound like I'm just torturing you here <laughs> it's fascinating it's fascinating, but it I is think fascinating. This is the slickest. The, the first two that I watched with you, it it was a lot of hunting. It was a lot of seeking information. This was not. This was not at all like any of the other videos that I've watched with you. So very different. Yep. And okay. it wasn't torture. It's a lot of fun. It, well, and they all have a different style, which is what I like about it. Okay. I don't know how Lee found her, but this is her. He said he found her because of comments on the YouTube video. Does she does, oh. does the does the YouTube video give her, uh, out her? No, it's in the comments. He said, but does she out herself? Because I don't oh, want to show. Impressive. I don't want to say her name or anything like that. Right. If she hasn't outed herself, if she's outed herself, she's free game. Right. Says that's a good question. I, I, I can't see Lee's response because I'm looking at something else. She is, just got remarried June 17th, 2020. Oh, she has a fundraiser, Nicole's challenge to cure encephalitis. That's what Lee said. So it's been, she's, she's been outed. Okay. okay. Um, let's see. Okay, here's any indication of how old she is. Let me see real quick if I can find Nicole. And while you're looking at that, Janice can have her turn. Yeah, Janice. Oh, yeah. There's all this information on Nicole. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm wondering. If, okay, somebody look it up and tell me how old she is because I want to hear what Janice has. What do you think? <laughs> well, hmm. This pre FC me and post FC me. So um, <laughs> I wouldn't. Know what I, FC is pre pre uh, facilitated communication. Um, I don't know that I would have picked up on how much of this was just BS. I I think it, I think I would have, um, I don't, it's hard for me to say whether I would have believed it necessarily. Um, I did believe in FC, but I don't know that I ever believed in an afterlife. So those things are sort of like mixed for me. Um, but I would, I don't know that I would have picked up on how much of it was um either known beforehand or edited out or i wouldn't have had those questions i guess i i don't know that i would have questioned it in the way that i do now so especially if a friend had recommended it this person to me and had That's had cool had a positive experience with that person then i would have been more likely to say oh you know joe schmo recommended this person had a really good reading i would have i wouldn't i would have just said okay with that person know. then i would have been more likely to say oh you know joe schmo i would have i wouldn't i would have just said okay with that person then i would have been more likely to say oh you know joe schmo i would have i wouldn't i would have just said okay with that person then i would have been more likely to say oh you know joe schmo <laughs> i would have i wouldn't i would have just said okay why is she on repeat I think that was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I got a message from Richard Saunders and I opened the message and for some reason, another video started playing. In response. Oh, that's hilarious. Joe Schmo. And it took me a minute to Richard realize Saunders. it was me. So I apologize. 
<laughs> I thought I got kicked out again. So I was just sort of like, oh, damn, I'm going to wait for the internet to kick back on. in. So, yeah. So we're making up for lost time. We're just having you twice now. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so people are saying about Nicole. Okay, so let's see. I didn't look at the, okay, he looked at the comments. There's her name. Uh, eight years ago, Flora was so comforting and on target. I'm so happy I had the chance to have a reading by her. I hope to go again. Well, I'm sure it'll be much better. She was 12 when she died. What? That's what Kat says. She was 12 when she died in 2011. Okay. Well, and I found something on her Facebook page. She says she's been teaching at a charter school since 1990. Well, I started my teaching career in 1987. So she's very close to my age. Well, this is filmed in 2014. So right. it's in her 50s in that video. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. We forget that it's 2014. This was shot. That's a good point. Oh, Richard wants to interview us. Yeah. I hear he has a podcast. That's that's what I, that's why I click. I got a notification. I don't know why all the other ones, I didn't get a notification for all the other ones, but that one I did and I clicked on it and that's when all the <laughs> excitement happened. Yeah. Oh, and here's another good point. Here's a really good point that Kat just made. <laughs> Nicole has a twin brother. Why is he never mentioned? Hmm. You know, that old psychic connection. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't Nicole want to connect with her twin Why brother? Did she not mention her brother. Hmm. In the comments, she says it's the real thing. Lee's mentioned, yeah, she's 12 years old when she died. Oh, and interesting. She died on March 11th, 2011. So you would think that she would have said something. To me, if I was a psychic, I would have been like, why am I getting 11? Why is 11 so important? 11, mm -hmm. 11, right. two ones, two ones, two ones like this, two ones. That's very important. And it, because of the 11 in the 2011 and on the date, I would have been all over that. Uh, there's a fundraiser, uh, details about her death. Uh, the mother and twin brother set up an annual walk. So to feed the ducks. <laughs> do they feed the ducks along the way we're not laughing at you suzanne we're laughing at the absurdity of this yeah absolutely but yeah if i was cheryl i would have watched this video and i would have said damn how does she know all that maybe there is something to this psychic stuff and if i was cheryl in grief which yep. she was right looking right. to connect with a medium i would have looked at that if it wasn't me if i was me and like you said pre pre pre-FC, me, pre-psychic world, I would have said, I mean, I, I don't think I ever believed in psychics, but I would have said, well, I'm not really all that bright. Maybe there's something I don't, maybe there is something to this. Because Cheryl says, even now that she's starting to see the signs and understand that this is fake, she still, when she was commenting, commenting to me, she was kind of saying, you know, it just seemed so specific because she knew what she died of and she knew the daughter's name and and all these other things. Right. Why would you think that your friend that recommended you may have, um, in a, I mean, that happens with facilitated communication all the time. The facilitators will share information and not really realize that they're doing that. And so the her friend may not even have realized how much she had given or he right. had given away recording about that. the sitter that ahead of time. Months ago, maybe, or weeks ago. Right, right. Especially, uh, yeah, like if she had, if if she there was a waiting list or something, and why would you think that any information that your friend had talked about with this with floor would have come out in your sitting? You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have made that connection. Most people don't. You know, it's 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 a hard concept to understand. Like you, you really do share information that you don't even realize that you're sharing. Yeah, we give out we give out so much information. So Kat says the butterfly is the logo for the walk. It should be should be oh butterflies. She did mention a butterfly, didn't she? Could have been a freak occurrence. I mean, just a mention because a butterfly is constantly like a butterfly changing, and that's also like a metaphysical thing. So whenever she mentioned right. a terrarium and a butterfly changing, that so that might have just been a. Uh, I don't think I don't think Fleur looked her up on Facebook. I just think that we're looking her up on Facebook because it confirmed 
And she so how big was Facebook? To find out with just the name, which would have been yeah, yeah. during the reading. I don't, I, I don't think there was a Facebook lookup. I think that's my. I impression. think I think the friend gave her a lot of information. Um, and I don't even think she had to give her a lot. No. Well, and I think you like you said when pinning on the microphone, she wrote, probably would have talked about her necklace, you know, and, and even if Flora oh, was across the room, it. you know, getting getting ready for the reading, if the if the helper had put the thing on and said, "Oh, that's a really pretty necklace." Oh, yeah, this was reminds me of my daughter. I keep it here close to my heart. Just tuck it back in. Would have taken like thirty seconds to have that conversation, and nobody, you know, like. Might have had an in on it or a the sitter. No, the sit, or, well, maybe, but it could have just been a casual conversation, you know, in and floor across the room picked up on it, um, and and added it in. Or the person setting up the mic, like I know Susan goes behind the scenes and reports on people when Mark's at the Magic Castle, so they're set, you know, they're putting this on. And like you said, Susan, I thought it was very interesting that she did not pull her necklace out. And if, if it had been something that was a real hit, I would have probably pulled it out and showed it. Yes, this is my necklace. But she never did. She just tapped it. This is my story. I, this is just made up. I don't know. She's getting ready with the microphone. Fleur is not in the room. The person sees the necklace, it's out, it has Nicole's name on it, like you were saying, Susan. And then the person reports that to Fleur that this is the daughter's name. Oh, yeah. And then the person with the mic says, make sure you put tuck that in so she can't know to make it more. I, don't, I, I still don't think that this, the, the, the person who's doing the reporting is in on it. I think he, I yep. think it's simply this Fleur's sitter who's got, who thinks Flora is the bee's knees, said, you know, I'm looking for somebody to do, um, I, I want to be able to do a reading recorded, somebody who hasn't, I haven't met before, who's, who's got somebody they'd like to reach out to, and I, you know anybody? And they said, I have this really good friend, this teacher friend of mine, and she lost her daughter a long time ago, um, I don't really know what she lost her to. It was something to do with the brain swelling or something. And her name is Nicole. I bet you she would do it. And she goes, oh, well, let's see. If, let's see if she'll do it. And then she said, and then they worked it out and they got her there. And I think that's all she knew is that Nicole died young. Something to do with the brain swelling. And it was a, like a prolonged death. So I think Kenny's really wanting to have the hot read thing win because his next thing is good investigation as Kenny is known for. He says her second post on Facebook is from September 20th, 2011 about her daughter dying from uh, an organized uh, to the deaths. So the information Are there deaths. What's that? Are there deaths? <laughs> Janice wants to know. <laughs> Kenny, is there any ducks on there? And most people do not understand this, but let me let me tell you, you can go to almost any Facebook page and hit the search button and type in any word. I'm typing the word duck. Okay, duck doesn't appear. <laughs> but it'll search that whole Facebook page for any time you've mentioned it. Somebody in the comments has mentioned it. it it's amazing what we can find on these search engines with this. But people don't realize how easy it is to face like if you if you know you're going to be doing your well not you guys because you would never do this if somebody like Thomas John knows they're going to be doing a reading of somebody, and they and they only got like five minutes or less, you just go in and you, what I first do is go to photos, old photos, anything that looks old, from the seventies, you know, sixties or black and white or sepia. Those are that's the first place I go, whatever they've uploaded, and then you can go to the search thing and you can type in words like mom, dad, anniversary sister, brother, you know, those kind of things, death, obituary, and boom, you're going, or cancer, heart, whatever, and you, you've got your, you've got it done in like three minutes. It's so simple that you could find, and then everything else is just like cold reading, you know, because the psychic has been doing this for a long time, and they know where to go. So in 2014, it was 2014, this reading? 
So I'm guessing that the the younger person, the psychic, would have been more tech savvy than the 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 sitter. Probably still um, at that point. You know, it's it's maybe evened out a little bit now, but um, probably well maybe, um, but she probably knew how to post on Facebook and that was about it. The other person would have been more, the younger person would have more been more savvy in terms of the internet at that, at that time. And people were not as aware of what is available on Facebook and how easy it is. So her hot read would have come across as being pretty spectacular. And he says that the mom's post is on, uh, even on there. Kenny, do a quick Google search. Is there a lake with ducks in it nearby? <laughs> just asking. I'm just curious. Is there a mention of Mr. Somebody the Cat? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. So, okay. So my and angels, the angel figurines too. Oh, and is there any pictures of her with angels? Maybe yeah. I'm starting to think of the name of those. They were really popular. I thought it was Precious mm. Moments. Precious moments. That's what I was trying to think of. Oh, Nicole is just a sweet little girl. How the hell has it been 12 years already? Nicole, miss you. Say hi. This butter, I even have butterfly earrings in my ears right now. I, I, boy, I just feel for this mom. You know, this daughter has been dead, what, if, at this point, whenever she did the reading, like 12 years, 15 years? Yeah. Let me do math. I don't do math. Hey, that just stinks. I mean, that just stinks all the way around. I mean, you feel for. I mean, you understand why. But she goes right so off. She says, immediately, she says that the reason why she wanted to have this done is because she wanted to have um um see if her daughter's at peace. So she definitely believes her mother, her daughter's in peace. Oh, yeah. wow. Look at there's so much information on this. I just clicked on the photos. Oh, my gosh. I'm not sharing this. Somebody else wants to do the work to figure this out. It's obviously not hard. Lee said her name's in there. She's out at herself. Oh, that little girl. She's got braces. They didn't mention anything about braces. Um, oh, yeah. Aww. Oh, you guys can see them, too, huh? It's it's. I mean, you. You understand so why this has so much power, you know, emotional power. It's totally understandable. It's it's not her. It's not the sitter that I have any problem with whatsoever. It's the it's the so called psychics and mediums that um it would have been just more honest if she had said I'd read your Facebook um page and i'm so sorry that she never says i'm so sorry that your daughter died at you know she never says that and that's what strikes me about the other psychics too i mean we saw one that the her daughter was murdered and the then the psychic was like oh but what happened before that it's like there is nothing be after uh, before the murder it's right. like your daughter got murdered that's all you're going to think about you don't you There's know no like, sympathy and no sympathy whatsoever. And that's what that's what gets my, under my skin about these. It's sort of like there's just no it's not even human, you know, no human reactions like are the mom sitting there crying, which is what they want. I mean, it's especially for a, a promo video. But, you know, it, there Can wasn't any point. Clinics? Yeah, you never there did wasn't that. any point that she said, I, I am. so. I just want to say I'm, you know, like your daughter's telling me that she's fine or whatever but i also want to tell you i am so sorry this happened to you and that you went through this and there's none of that and that just that's what gets my goat i i would assume that the psychic well i think that they're probably not empathetic people and that they are hardened horrible human beings but that's just me but i think that they say they would say that they see death so much that to them it's like oh well she's dead well duh but it's <laughs> not really dead they're still yeah it's no, the I only thing I, I i my my partner's um father died and he had hospice and stuff and those nurses saw death all the time and they were the kindest gentlest uh people we could not have gotten through that situation without their help and they were so they would bond you know they would spend as much time as you needed 
answered all the questions that, you know, like they saw it all the time. So that for me is not an excuse, you know, screw that. <laughs> you know, you can still be yeah, compassionate. Well, you would see if, if woman to woman, I would, oh, ah, Kenny says there's a lake a few blocks away. I bet they're ducks. <laughs> oh, and Kat says you can't have sympathy or empathy when you're conning someone. Well, I, I, it's a mother to mother or a woman to woman. I would want to reach out to her and hold her hand at least or squeeze her knee or just something in that reading when she was grieving like that and she's crying. I guess the medium would say she's busy in contact with the daughter or something, but okay. Right. So, all right, here's the big question. Let's throw this out here. The big question, you know, that all those people say this about what we're doing, but what's the harm? Isn't it helping that mother to feel now she's at peace that her daughter's okay. Janice, you go first. Cause I called her an Adrian earlier <laughs> first. Where's the where's I the don't think so. in this reading? I, Doesn't this mother leave? She says she left feeling so much better. Right. But I think it's kind of like playing the lottery. It pays off just enough to keep you playing. So it doesn't resolve what she came there for. She came there for some sort of closure or whatever. I don't know if that's the word that she used, but but that's not what she got. You know, like this there's always the hope that the next reading she'll get more information and the next one after that. And, and for me, it doesn't, uh, I don't, I don't see that as, is finding a healthy way to deal with grief. Uh, sorry. I just don't, I just think it keeps people locked in, in the same kind of spinning. Um, she and, said she was um, you know, like that, that raw, that raw feeling when right after someone dies, you know, it, that stinks. Um, but that's not what my loved ones or, you know, would want me to, that's not where they'd want me to stay. They'd want me to move on. Um, and I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't, I don't buy it. I don't think that it, they're not grief counselors. They don't help them move beyond um, the, the actual processing of death. Um, they just keep them in, in the, in the spot with a, with a psychic wants them to be. <laughs> You know, so I don't know. It kind of ticks me off. Pisses me off. Sounds awful too, Adrian. <laughs> I mean, well, I th I think that there are some that we've seen that that are less manipulative than others, and and I think I think for those people, I can sort of see that maybe their intentions are good, but. But good intentions does not necessarily mean that what you're doing is helpful. Um, and then there are others. There's another whole layer that are obviously con artists and, you know, whatever. And I don't I don't know enough about this. I mean, I, I suspect that this person is more of a con artist than than somebody who's sincere. But um, I don't know. Maybe I should shut up. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't like it. Adrian. Well, I think the same thing that it it's a cycle that you perpetuates going back and you keep feeding money and because you want more and more of it. It's almost addictive, I would guess, because you get the satisfaction of connecting with a dead loved one. But even beyond that, then you have Cheryl who sees this video, spends $800, and who knows if that $800 is something that she can afford or not, because she's grieving, needs to have some kind of connection with her dead loved one. And that's a lot of money. That's, that's a lot yeah, of money. That's a lot of money, yeah. Food or holiday or whatever it may be, and or a mortgage payment or an electrical bill. And we can't. electrical bill oh my god <laughs> well, just, you don't know it's like financially the, yeah the they energy. call that financial and opportunity costs you know yeah. and sort of like <laughs> i guess energy just popped into my brain you oh know? my gosh where the heck yeah. is it that bad in <laughs> energy drink oh drink, drink. Yeah, exactly drink. thinking of uh, thinking of kenny no so i think that there are a lot of harms in that and then there's also the you know, those sort of the slippery slope thing that they believe in this and then they're going to start believing in Arcturian healing and then start buying that through their psychic medium as we saw from a previous Brandy 
Khan, I think was her name, who did Korean healing and Reiki. And it just keeps going on and on. And none of those are good ideas. And it does, it prevents good thinking and it hurts your pocketbook. I love how Richard calls it, calls it what a mind body wallet. My, my body wallet. Mind body wallet. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So do I. So those are my thoughts. Yeah, it's helpful on many levels. <laughs> so David says it was a hot reading that makes her a con. Mm. If it's a hot reading, it is a con. She knows she's a con. Uh, Kat says, it's like that toxic ex who says just enough to keep you on the hook and give you some hope before the sadness overwhelms again. Yeah, it's a good way of putting it. Banachek said, he said on screen the strange the other day, he says, I could, I could give somebody crack and they'd feel good <laughs> too, but it doesn't mean that's a good thing to give them crack, you know, and it's the same idea. So here's this woman <laughs> pretending to talk to your dad. How do you think she'd feel after she watches this video where we just ripped it apart? I don't think she's, I don't think, I don't think Suzanne would be too happy about that. No. I don't think she cares about her opinion. And she probably says, well, I got something out of it. So there. Right. Get a life. You haven't lost a child as if it's some sort of badge of honor. I hear that from the, from this grieving community every so often. Well, have you ever lost a child, Suzanne Gerbeck? And you're like, no. I think it's horrible. I'm sure it's horrible. I don't know what it's like. And like, well, then you don't know. It's like, it's like, like they've got this grieving uh, tears or something like that. I felt grief. I know what grief feels like. We've all lost loved ones. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Even pets. Which oh, yes. Worse. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, you don't get to tell me that I, my grief isn't as important as your grief because you're dealing with a child and I haven't dealt with a child's loss. And, you know, I'm sure they'd say the same thing for me. I don't get to tell them about their grief. I'm saying you are obviously in grief and you are not making rational decisions because you cannot communicate with the dead. And, and that's just the fact. As much as it might make you feel good, this person is manipulating you, manipulating your emotions because you're mm -hmm. going to remember these things later as this was what it was important to her. This is that. I wonder why she didn't talk about my brother. Why didn't she talk about her twin brother at all? How do you think he feels after this reading's over? That's odd. Why didn't she? I always thought we were really close, but she didn't mention me once. Why Why didn't she mention me? And her father, she, she got what side of the bed he was standing on whenever she died. But why is that? Why did she not? mentioned my dad the dad how do you think he would feel after this reading was over mm -hmm. she didn't mention anything that they had done together i i think if i was the son or the the father this floor seems really connected to women right if i was the son the twin brother or the father and they, i was told later or watch this video yeah watch this video i would feel very left out of things and very hurt that Nicole would have forgotten them as much as she did, even though, yes, I know the mother was there, but why did Sarah come through? Why did some cousin, some random cousin come through? Why that was very brief. Yeah, well, there wasn't much there. If if she had had a sister named Sarah, I bet you she would have, if she said, oh yeah, that's her sister. I bet you then there'd been a lot of confirmation about that, but there, there was nothing about the brother or the father. And they would, I think they'd be very hurt. And Mary? Who was that? The great grandmother? Great, great. Yeah, Sarah and Mary came through, but no information about them. Just that they were they were people. There was you know, random names of, thrown out, is what they were. Very common names. Yeah, so I think this is very manipulative because now Suzanne says she's going to go back for more readings, and she's endorsing this woman. Even in the comments of the of the video, as as Lee was pointing out. Um. David says, I get how some cold readers can fool themselves into believing they aren't good at it and that they are really psychics. Once it's a hot reading, it's a con. Yeah. I think Fleur thinks, well, Fleur has to be, if you're getting hot reading information, even from a friend, yeah, then you know what you're doing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But some of these psychics, what they do is they fool themselves into saying, 
I think I must really have something. I started with this information, but maybe I really have something because look at how much I got through. But until you sit down and really do what we're doing, where we're tearing into little shreds, yeah. I don't think you can see this stuff. No, that's a slippery slope because you like as speaking as a facilitator, and it's, and it's I've I've um, recognized some of my own thinking in in some of these psychics. And it's a slippery slope because you say what well, for facilitated communication, I moved the kid's hand this time, but I won't next time. And you, and you know, like I got information from, you know, Janice's friend about her situation this time, but I won't, you know, like, I don't even know if they think th through that much, but you know what I mean? It's sort of like you have a recognition that, oh, this might not be quite, you know, um, I, I really shouldn't be getting information from Janice's friends about her reading, but it will make the reading go better. So this time I'll just get a couple things, you know, from the person. Look how much and I, and I like I said, I don't know if this is even like how thought out this is, or you know, if they say this out loud to themselves. But once you do it, it's a lot easier to say okay I got two things last time I'll get three or four things this time or you know like and then it just becomes part of what you do my readings are going so well I'm getting so much money from this I'm getting referrals from my sitters I must be successful so I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and add a few things every once in a while and it and you just keep yeah you know like it's it just builds on itself so you might start with a good intention but then you keep adding things that just make the whole thing when you look at it the way we're doing it make totally people agree. question of what you're doing we're not the, from the viewpoint of the sitter she probably felt that she got tons of information from the viewpoint of fleur i think she really thinks that she's helping and helping her wallet because i bet you she thinks this is successful <laughs> She's got the look. She's got the voice. She's Dutch, so she probably speaks 1,500 languages. And she did this so because the Dutch speak a lot of languages. <laughs> They're so good at that stuff. Um, and also, I think that she's she's probably thinking I can make a I can make a living at this. Well, and probably. from the viewpoint of Suzanne not liking this of course she's not going to like it and she's going to have a hard time changing her mind because she's gone public with it it's mm -hmm. on youtube and anytime you go public with any position it's very hard to step back absolutely wrong yeah so, i totally agree she's I, not gonna, not she's impossible not, gonna like it. Hmm? not impossible not impossible but, it's, impossible, but it's really hard you have to have a support system yeah well she might have had she might have gone and tried to other readings i mean this is from 2014 she's might have had she might have been like oh this is a bunch of baloney now or i think it's baloney but right. how do you talk to your how can you have had a conversation with your dead child and got confirmation of how amazing how thankful she is and how much she loves everybody how can you how can you go back and say oh no i think that was all a lie yeah no i don't i don't think I, that would it's be like a big facilitating enough. communication it ain't gonna happen once they've come yeah. public and they've made it up in their mind, it ain't going to happen. If you've paid money, if you've gone public, if you've got something personal out of it, all of those things make it so much harder to shift that belief system. You really have to, the cracks have to be there and you have to be willing to listen to the questions that, you know, that you might have or that, you know, sometimes you hear it from someone else and then you say, oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. You have to be willing to, to go there and it's not an easy process and and um i i don't think for for many of the believers that that's gonna happen all right so i guess we should sign off it's only been two hours and 30 minutes this is gonna be a short one susan yeah <laughs> it's a short one <laughs> this is short for us yeah, I guess it's not four or five hours. So I guess yeah, yeah. Well, it was only a ten minute reading, and we had to go, and and we had not pre watched it, so we had to go. Wait, what? Did I hear wait, that what? correctly? And then we all heard different things. We're like, wait a minute, I don't think I heard that. Let's go Love back and watch that. So that Love was hard. Well, if we do this again, that was a lot of fun. I got a lot out of listening to. I did too. Yes, I did have a really good time. Obviously, Adrian didn't because she's not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's yeah. just more polite than we are. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, A. No, that was a lot of fun. I hope, and I liked having people on Facebook watching. It was great. Yeah, yeah that not, helps. Yeah, it helps. If you're, especially since they were doing hot reading as we were looking. Um, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, welcome to our channel. Thank you so much. This is Psychics Explained. Um, this is the kind of stuff we do is where we break down readings in great detail to a point where it's like, takes all the fun out of it. But I think it's interesting. I really do. If you like this kind of uh, video, please subscribe. Please share it with your friends and please leave me comments. I respond to everything. And I really want to know specifically if you've had, or if it's it, if a Mr. Animal, an animal named Mr. Or I suppose uh, Miss, Mrs. Is, is, is a, is a thing in, in your world and, and like how old, you know, what would that have applied? I, we didn't have any like that, but we, we named our animals like what they look like. So spotty boy was one of our dogs when I was growing up because he had spots on him. So that's really original. So I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I'm curious. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for being with me. You Thank you. Friends. I appreciate it so much. This is a lot of ask. It's a lot of ask for me to ask this from you guys, but I really, uh, really it. fun. It is fun. All right. Adrian still isn't saying anything. <laughs> You get the last word, Adrian. <laughs> I guess I, all I can say is my Wikipedia page is suffering because of these. Yeah, you haven't gotten it. We're done. Come on, man. <laughs> Getting distracted by people like me. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, everybody on Facebook.